didn't didn't play in the NBA my first year out of college, played in a Western Basketball Association. And uh, so happened, uh, played on that team. We won the championship. And uh, I was MVP in the playoffs. And uh, it all turned out very well for me. And uh, that's when I went on to the Boston Celtics. That's quite interesting to hear because uh, while preparing for the conversation, I had no luck trying to find out what you did the season in between the Spurs waving you and the Celtics <laughs> signing you. Uh, how did you end up in this uh, Western Basketball Association? Uh, I think it was through uh, this uh, assistant coach I was talking about, Skeeta Swift, Swift, that had contacts uh, all in about uh, Herb Brown was a coach there. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of Coach Brown at uh Larry Brown. He's with SMU now. Yeah. He uh he, it, it's Herb Brown's his brother. Herb also coached the Detroit Pistons. So he was the coach uh of the team in Tucson, Arizona called the Tucson Gunners. Uh again, uh, you know, I had adversity had some ad- adversity there uh they pretty much, even when I got there, they had their team <laughs> picked out, the guards settled, and this and that. So I had to break into that lineup, and by midseason I was starting, and that was a big plus for me. Uh, do you recall, perhaps, was there any other NBA-level talent at that point in, in this WBA league? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um... Probably games the, the the guys that I mentioned, uh Roger Brown, oh, Jimmy Roger Boylan, Brown. he's a coach at, in the NBA now. Uh and a few other guys around. You know, it was when you play in a league like that, you know, it's a, the guys that's in that league are, are, are borderline guys and um some make it, some don't, some get a uh, a stint in the NBA for a few years. Some don't. Um, probably, I was one of those. I was one of the very lucky guys that went on from there and had a long career in the NBA.